Hello, everybody. How you doing today? Sister Georgie from Mississippi by way of Jamaica West Indies is connecting to Women's Month. Remember last month I talked about uh, Black History Month? Well, this month we are out. It's Women's Month. So I'm going to be reading a series of books. So you will be hearing uh, different reading from Sister Georgie. So this book I'm going to read today is from, it's about Sonia Sotomayor. She is a Supreme Court Justice. Yes, uh, she was put into office by uh, uh, the former president. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, my goodness. I can't. Oh, my goodness. I can't. Barack Obama. Oh, my goodness. Sister Georgie, her memory be failing her sometimes. Y'all got to excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to read this story about her. She is, uh, I believe she's an Hispanic woman, okay? And I want you to listen to the story, okay? Sonia Sotomayor, Supreme Court Justice. This book was written by, by Paige V. Polinsky. All right, now listen to the story. Listen to y'all. Listen to the story, y'all, okay? All right, and I'm sure some of y'all can relate to her. Okay, who is Sonia Sotomayor? Sonia Sotomayor is the Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She is the court's first Latina justice. Yes, sir. Yes. First Latina. Ain't that something? Boy, it takes so many years to get her here. Wow. Okay. And she gives some thoughts. She said, look at the good people. You find life much more enjoyable. Sonia's parents were from Puerto Rico. Anybody know where Puerto Rico is? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, it's someplace young. Oh, sister. Oh, sister Georgia. I can't remember right now. Okay, y'all can go look it up and check it up for yourself. Okay, they moved to New York City. Sonia's dad died when she was young. She was but a little girl, and her daddy passed. You can imagine how that made her feel that her daddy passed and daddy get to see her, you know, become the first Latina uh, uh, of the United States Supreme Court. Ain't that something? Her mom worked hard to care for the family. Well, is the mama always working hard? God bless our souls. Oh, my goodness. I could, ima I could remember when I had to take care of my family. It wasn't easy. I had two boys and a girl and child. It was not easy at all. I had to work hard and make sure they ate and looked good and smelled good. You know, so it's a hard job for a mama. So can you imagine her mama, after her husband died, she got to be taking care of the family? Wow. Okay. But look what happened. Sonia loved reading. She wanted to solve mysteries. Do you have a hobby you like to do? But at age eight, she learned she had diabetes. Oh, my goodness. She learned she was ill. Wow. Wow. Let's see if that diabetes had stopped her from doing what she wanted to do. Let's see. Sonia's doctor told her to pick a different job. Imagine that. She decided to be a judge after seeing one on television. Wow, look at that inspiration. She ain't let the doctor stop her. She ain't let diabetes, no kind of illness, stop her. She gonna do what she want to do. She gonna do what's in her heart to do. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, my goodness. Sonia studied history in college. Then she went to law school. My goodness, what a smart little girl. She just press on. In spite of her pain, she just press on. Sonia was a prosecutor before becoming a judge. Ain't that something? She was in the court of law. Law, what a powerful lady. Wow. Then changing the world. She wanted to change the world. She wanted to make a difference. So Judge Sonia was a was tough but fair. One of her rulings ended a baseball strike. People said she saved the sport. 
ain't that something? Did you know that that Sonia Sotomayor, uh, as a as a prosecutor, saved the sport uh, of of uh, base of uh, baseball? Ain't that something? Wow, wow! In 1998, oh, there it is. Yes, yes. Sonia joined the Court of Appeals. She was always well prepared. That's right. So when you're gonna do something, you don't go uh, go up in there just doing a little something at the top of you go and you study hard, you write up your stuff, get your program together and go and speak and present your argument. Okay. President Barack Obama. That's the name I try to remember, but I did remember it after a while. Okay. Chose her for the Supreme Court in 2009. Ain't that wonderful? Look at that. Ain't that powerful? Yes, 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 yes. Sonia had to work hard for the job. Yeah, you know, women, we got to work hard for a lot of things. Okay. She met with many senators. She spent four days answering questions. Man, they drilled us so much. She got to sit with all these people asking all these questions. Don't you get tired sometimes when you sit up there for hours and hours? People ask you a whole bunch of questions. After all, you tired. You just want to get away from there. But you know what? She had to get that job. So she had to push through. She had to persevere for her to get where she got to go. Oh, Lord God, my rap. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sona became the Supreme Court's third ever woman justice. Look at that. You got Sonia with Justices Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah, she died maybe a couple years ago, but she talked a lot about helping women. Yes. And Elena Gage, Gage oh, Cajun, don't get me started now because I can't pronounce some of these names. OK, so Sony became the Supreme Court third ever woman justice. And now they only got three women on the Supreme Court. I think the Supreme Court have a total, I believe, of nine people. So there's only three women out of all these years. The Supreme Court be going on. They only have three women so far. But guess what? God is turning things around. More women going to get on Supreme Court. It's all about a, about a man now. Come on now, women, we got it all. Little girls, you grow up and be what you desire to be, okay? You can change the world. You can make a difference. Yes, just like Sonia Sotomayor. Okay, from the Supreme Court, Sonia helped decide what the law means. Sonia always speaks her mind. Ooh, do you speak your mind? Oh, yes, girl. Sometimes I be speaking my mind. You know what? I ain't trying to hold back. You know, people try to say this and say that. But, you know, I don't be trying to hold back. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. But I'm going to do it very nice, too. I ain't trying to offend nobody. But sometimes people may be a little offended. But guess what? Sometimes you got to step on people's toes for a change to happen. Hello. Okay, Sonia always speaks her mind. She fights for what is right. That's right. You got to do what you got to do. You got to stand your ground, honey. You got to stand your ground. Mm -hmm. Sonia's mentors, she mentors new law students. She speaks to Latino students and to children with diabetes. Yeah, remember she had diabetes and she was still going strong in spite of everything. So she tried to empower and, and allow our children to understand that it don't matter if you are ill, whatever it is, you can still make a difference in the world. Wow. Sana shows people dreams can come true. That's a sure, honey. She is a leader of the law. Yes, she is. Oh, my goodness. This is powerful. This is really powerful. And this is the end of the book. Some of the things they talk about in the book, the glossary says the Court of Appeals is a court that looks at other courts' decisions and decides if they are right. Diabetes is a serious illness in which the body cannot control the amount of sugar in its blood. That's what it is. And justice is a judge who serves on a higher court, such as the Supreme Court. Okay, that's what they call them, nine justices. Okay, they up there in Washington, D.C., part of the United States. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Latina, having family roots from Central America, South America, or Southern North America. Latina is a female form of Latino. Yes. 
mentors, teachers or gives, teaches or give advice. Prosecutor is a lawyer who tries to prove a case against someone accused of a crime. Yes, so when you hear people talk about prosecutors, that's what they do. Rulings is when a decision is made by a judge. All right, senators, members of a Senate, a group that forms part of the United States Congress. It is a senator's job to make laws for the United States. Did y'all know that? I don't think a lot of y'all know that. So I'm giving you all this little information so you get a chance, go look it up again and go double check. So you can always get Sonia Sotomayor's book and learn more about her and learn more about her life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a strike. We talk about a strike in the book. A period of time which workers stop work in order to force an employer to agree to their demands. Yes, that can happen. You know, I'm sure sometimes in school, when I when I worked in school, sometimes these children, they wanted certain things to happen. It wasn't happening. So they decided to walk out. Yes, and that was a strike. We ain't going to do this and we're not going to do that. Okay, because we want this to change. We want things to change. Yes, sir. And the Supreme Court, yes, it's the highest court of law in the United States. So there you have it. The story of Sonia Sotomayor, the, the first Latina Supreme Court justice. Isn't she beautiful? I remember there was three females out of, out of nine people. Thank God they got females up in there because... It was a whole bunch of men at one time. But thank God over time, things changed. Because guess what? Little girls and little boys, you are powerful. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do great things. Okay? Her mama had to take care of, of all the children. And, and, and her husband died when she was young. So mama had to do a lot. She lost her, her daddy at a young age. But guess what? She ain't let the, the, the death of her father stop her from doing great things. And she knew if her daddy was alive, he would want her to do wonderful things. So I'm encouraging you. Remember, Sister Georgie said, don't you ever give up, okay? Follow your dreams. And, and know that if you follow your dreams, great things can happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I don't know why this hat keeps coming out of so, you know, I guess I ain't going to worry about it. Okay. So, again, this is Sonia Sotomayor. Okay. The first Latina a Supreme Court Justice of the United States of America. Thank you so much for listening, y'all. And I hope you have a great day. And I pray that you go pick up this book in the library, you know, and go read it. And you know what? The library got so much great books, y'all. So much books that you can really, oh my goodness, go crazy. You could travel, oh my God, in books. You may not get a chance to travel many places, which I hope you do. But if you really don't, you could always travel through a book and go to so many areas just in the book. So you go pick this up at the library at your local library, okay? And read about this great woman. All right, thank you so much. And guess what? Sister Georgie wants you to go to her YouTube uh, channel at Wamu Ministries at gmail.com. And she wants you to uh, subscribe to the channel. So she would love if you do that. Okay. So thank you so much. And know that I love you and Jesus love you more. You have a wonderful day. Oh, yes. And no, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. So I'm going to read some more of these books and I want you to love life. Okay. God bless you. See you again. Sister Georgie from Mississippi by way of Jamaica West Indies. Bless you.